On Wednesday, community leaders from the neighboring village who were blamed for the attack on Surumarang village gathered at Surumarang. Both village leaders have agreed to negotiate peace and normalcy at Surumarang. The neighboring village brought foods and a pig as a traditional token of establishing peace between them. The understanding will also open up the free movement of people and vehicles to travel to and from the collapsed bridge. Reconciliation will take place, all bringing peak na kai kai na kai chan motion, explaining all yet finished now. Me plus sigani go come na all something will be free now. Meanwhile, Surumarang village has also presented a demand to community leaders from the other village. In the demand, Surumarang community leaders demanded at least 350,000 kina for the 14 houses that were torched. The other village has two weeks to meet the demand. One house and by 20,000 kina to build a new house. So, we will have more than 350,000 kina by me almost giving in order to build more new houses. And demand to meet the people. Community leader Steven Amuv said the reconciliation ceremony follows a conflict that erupted three weeks ago. The fight that had occurred has nothing to do with Surumarang people. From reports given to police, youths from Surumarang had rescued a PMV bus from further damaged and saved the driver and his crew. Another community situated near the collapsed Bana Bridge attacked the driver and his crew. Thus, villages from Surumarang intercepted and saved the driver and his crew and took the bus into the village for safety. However, the village was surprised when men from the nearby villages mobilized and went into Surumarang, burning down 14 houses. Matha Luis, National MTV News, Medang.